here with women's basketball coach Mandy Pearson. Coach, the season finally gets underway on Tuesday at Elmhurst. You've had about five weeks of practice now, and we were kind of joking off camera that you like practice, but it's got to be about time for that real first game to, to get underway. I think they need to play. We've had two scrimmages, which, which helps, but I think they get sick and tired of, of going up against each other. And, you know, NCAA only allows us to have male practice players in once a week, which is nice to bring a couple different people to compete against, but it's, yeah, it's time to play a game. Let's talk a little bit about about the team you have this year. Obviously, you lost a couple of uh, very potent scorers in Jess Miller and Sherry Kulig, but, uh, you know, the pass is the pass, and you have to move on. As a coach, you always have to deal with losing players. How do you uh, how do you approach this year and the fact that you won't have those two scorers? Um, I, you know, I, I, how you approach it is the same as you approach any year. You know, we'll, we'll miss those two. We'll miss their scoring, but I anticipate that, a lot of people are going to step up into different roles this season. Um, I think this will be a year where we don't have to rely on on two players to score a ton um, because I think we're uh, more balanced in terms of positions, uh, more balanced than we've ever been. Uh, we have people in the post that can definitely put the ball in the basket, um, some guards who can really shoot the ball, and a few people that can really get to the basket. So I think our balance is just going to be a lot better uh, which will make us a little bit harder to guard and maybe a little bit easier on our offense. Nice that you have some some returning post players who have had some proven experience. Mm -hmm. uh, talk a little bit about Jamie Steffley. Is she healthy after the knee injury from last year? Because obviously she had a great year last year until she got hurt. She did. Uh, Jamie works extremely hard. Uh, she really worked hard on her rehab this summer. Um, her knee's coming back nice and strong. She had a great surgeon in the, in the Chicago area who did her surgery and gave her a good rehab program. So she's been doing well. Um, occasionally we'll sit out at a couple drills. We kind of limit uh, how much conditioning that she can do at practice just because it's better for her knee. But in the grand scheme of things, it's strong. She said it feels good most of the time, and she's doing very well. So I think that we can expect her to, to be ready to go right away. And it does give you that presence underneath. Mm -hmm, it does. You know, I think in the, in the post right now, we're sitting in a pretty good spot. Um, we have a few people who can really score inside and some post players who are pretty versatile in terms of they can play on the perimeter a little bit inside, short corner, you know, do some things in, in, the, in the mid post and the elbow. So I think um, that's going to be very positive for our program. You look at the roster, a lot of new names when it comes to the guard position. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit about your approach to uh, heading into the Elmhurst game in terms of uh, what you're going to do with the guard play. You know, right now we're still sitting there trying to figure out our rotation, to be honest, because in our two scrimmages we had a lot of players play pretty well. Um, you know, obviously Jess Stone's back and she's going to do some great things for our team this season. Um, she's just such an unselfish team player. Um, but really we're just kind of sitting here waiting for some, some people to really stand out, and we've had a few players that have. Um, and I think they're going to do a great job, and we're still waiting to see what we're going to do with a couple couple positions. You know, with the conference that you're in, you don't get a lot of non-conference games. Obviously, the game against Elmhurst is an important one to kind of get you, you get going and whatnot. But how do you approach it in terms of getting ready for the conference? Our, for our non-conference games, it's nice to have one before, at least one before the season. We usually get most of our non-conference games uh, done before our conference season starts. Um, but it's a great way to get us up and down to compete. You know, Elmhurst is a good team who, uh, they, I think they graduated a few guards last year, but they have a strong inside presence. Um, and it'll just be good competition to get us ready for Mayak play, which is one of the toughest toughest conferences in this country. Talk a little bit about the conference. Uh, you know, obviously the poll came out in, in uh, the preseason poll. As, as one of the coaches, what do you expect from the conference this year? Who are the teams to beat and who really might be the dark horse? Um, Teams to beat, you know, I mean, obviously St. Thomas unanimously got voted number one. Uh, so they'll obviously be uh, the team to beat. And, and for some reason, I think every team in our conference has a little rivalry with them. Um, but otherwise, you know, it's every team, every game is going to be important. Um, everybody that's played in this league, coached in this league, been a part of this league knows that you cannot take a day off. Um, every team every game that you play is, is going to be tough and important. So I, I'm just going to approach every single game the same, um, with the same importance, and I think that we can make a run this year. Season kicks off Tuesday evening in Elmhurst, Illinois, against Elmhurst. Good luck, Coach. Thank you very much.